want to get the mind quiet. Of course, when it get, gets quiet, then you start noticing noises outside you didn't notice before. Well, just let them go. I mean, think of your mind being large and spacious. And noises can go through, but they don't have any effect on the mind. Or like a screen on a window. The wind goes through the screen. And the screen isn't moved around by it. So try to keep your mind open and still like this. Things can come past, but you don't have to bother them. We talk about being bothered by the sounds, but as a John Cha once said, no, actually, we're the ones bothering the sounds. We're the ones making all the comment. That's the sound of this. This is the sound of that. That person shouldn't be making that sound, whatever goes on. That's us bothering the sound. The sound is its own thing, and the mind and the breath are their own things. So just stay with the, the own thing of the breath. This provides a framework for your concentration that's a lot more solid than trying to get it just down to one point. Think of the whole body as your frame, and things can come in and out through your awareness. But your frame is still there. So try to maintain this sense of openness and spaciousness as you try to keep the mind solid, because it's the openness that allows you to maintain your, your focus even as strong events happen. It's like a, the difference between a building that puts up a lot of resistance to the wind and one that offers no resistance at all. If something offers no wind resistance, then no matter how strong the wind, it's not going to get blown around. It's the building that offers resistance. That's the one that's going to get blown away when the, when the winds get really strong. So think of a mind of having no resistance like this, no resistance to sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, ideas that come in. You're just not offering any resistance, but you're not playing along either. If you find that a thought is beginning to take hold, it's a sign you're already playing along. If it just comes in and then goes, okay, then. You're maintaining your center. Because there is this element of present karma in all of our thoughts. A thought comes in and the initial thought may have come from past karma. But then there's a question to which we want to pick it up and embroider on it or whatever, however we react to it. That's our present karma. That's what you can change. And the fact that things come and go, a lot of that has to do with past karma. But it's what you do with them that makes all the difference. And as the Buddha said, it's what you do with them that causes the suffering that weighs the mind down. So try to train the mind to be in a state like this, where it is very still and very open. Things can come and go. And then if the mind has an in inclination to pick something up, you'll know. And that's the that's the issue you can work with. So think of the mind as this wide open screen. Solidly based, but offering no resistance. That puts you in a good position to see things as they happen, and to see your own mental states as they begin to get involved in what's happening. And that gives you the opportunity to develop more discernment. <laughs>